They just came up to us and threw us up against the fucking wall. I thought we were getting pinched. They took the 4Gs out of my pocket and that was it. What would you say, two, three minutes, Gazi? Yeah, not even two minutes. Never seen anything like it. They came out of nowhere. As soon as we walked out, boom, they jumped on us. We had to have been followed there. I don't know why, but we had to have been. Well, there's gotta be a rat. I've been telling you two to watch your ass. For the past three or four weeks now, there's been somebody watching me every time I leave this fucking house. There's been a guy in the car, on the corner, every fucking time. Now this. It's gotta be something, right? Yeah. Someone's stalking. Well, we gotta get a hold of the rat. Someone's talking to FBI about the clubs. I don't know what the hell's going on. I thought all those guys were happy with you. You got all the riffraff out of the place. Why wouldn't they be happy about that? Listen, the whole point is to get money out of them. They can't just stop paying us for our services. That's the whole point. I mean, we're not motherfucking Comcast here. And if the feds get someone to talk, I'm fucked. You know, I don't want to talk about that. I'm not stupid, Frank. If you talk to me about it a little bit, I could help you out. Some things are best left unsaid, you know, for your own peace of mind. Be grateful. The only problems I'm having now is with the girls themselves. I'm telling you, Frankie, they bounce from one club to another, and they bring all their bullshit with them. I can't help you there. <sighs> Bunch of coked up whores. You know, if I had one, just one that was halfway normal, I feel like the luckiest man on earth. See, what it comes down to is me kissing their ass so they stay. It just sucks the life right out of a guy. It is so demeaning. Where'd you find her? Dancing with her chimneys? No, no, no. I I've known her a while. Anyways, my friend, I'm glad you decided to join us. I just want to tell you, if you ever need anything, you know I'm there for you, right? Yeah, I know that, Frankie. You've, you've always been a good guy to me. Good guy. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I mean, guys and them guys, they got some tempers. They can really rub people the wrong way sometimes. That ain't me. What's your real opinion of him? I mean, do you really think he's a good guy? Or are you just saying that to his face? Didn't his friends have to beat your fat ass a few times? With that big mouth of yours? You miserable fucking piece of shit. Out. Get the fuck out! Gina, is he here? No, you just missed him. What's up? I gotta tell him something. Why you look so pissed off? Because he's an asshole? Uh-oh. I heard you and Ghazi got arrested. No, we didn't get arrested. We got searched. He's pretty worried right now. You're not worried? When you make money on the streets your whole life, you gotta go to jail at some point. All right, I gotta go find him. Yeah, you know what? I'll just call him tomorrow. I'll see you later, beautiful. Hey, uh, remember our old friend? You know the one with all the track marks? Yeah, he got picked up a few weeks ago for a bunch of forgery charges. Motherfucker. Yeah. 
right around the same time you said you started to notice a tail. Kind of matches up, you know? Where's this coming from, Tony? I went to his house to talk to his brother. He said he'd been staying at some hotel since he got out. Well, do what you gotta do to get him open for talk. All right. So where you been, kid? Been in jail for a minute. How much was your bond? 10,000, 10%. Mom had to put down 1,000 to get me out. I think I have to go back to court on the 28th. Just take a plea or what? No, they haven't offered me anything yet. This new shit's obviously gonna fuck up your probation. Yeah, everything's messed up for me right now. I uh, hope I'm not being cross-examined here. You feel like that? No, I mean, not really. It's been a lot of heat around here lately. I don't know why. Like when I got out of jail, my fucking probation officer said the FBI was up there asking questions about me. He wanted to know why they were questioning him. Like, I told him I didn't know. I mean, I, they don't have anything on me. But he said they asked if I caught any new cases. I still can't figure out why the FBI would be looking at me right now. You're the one that said FBI, No, my Lorenzo. fucking probation. Nobody else. You know how to keep your mouth shut, right, kid? You know what to happen. Like, do I look like I want to be dead right now? No one said you're going to be dead. I understand the seriousness of everything here, okay? Just sometimes when people get in trouble, they make shit up. We don't need to be making shit up. Plenty of guys bust their ass to make a living around here. We got enough trouble. I don't need this. Oh, okay, so basically you think I'm gonna fucking squeal because I got pinched, huh? You're fucking cornering me, Frank. I can feel it, man. I've done a lot for you, you know that. I don't have to sit here and take your shit anymore. Oh, you're done? All right. You're done. And I'll take your fucking phone, I'll take your motherfucking car, your furniture, and every other fucking thing you got because of me. I don't fucking take this anymore, man. Get the fuck out! You get the fuck up. All the shit I done for you, you gonna talk to me like that? If I don't know you're gonna end up some punk, I'd have told your old lady about all the whores you fucked. And then we could have gang fucked her over here. But that kind of shit, that ain't me. Me neither. We don't do that. Only you do that. Now get the fuck out of my face, and I never want to see you. Mad at me? Hey, look, she's mad at me again. Frank, we gotta go. Where the hell are you going? We gotta take care of some business. Look, do me a favor. Follow her home, okay? I don't want that fucking car wrapped around a tree. I just got her that fucking car. You think that's funny? Easy, it's just a joke. He's been such a dick to me lately. It's getting old. Ah, he just hates the thought of jail, you know? It's stressful. He is determined to stay out. Which is weird, since he hires some of the biggest dumb fucks around here to do stuff for him. It's like he's begging to go to jail anyway. His fucking logic is all flawed, but what are you gonna do? He's stuck in his own ways. He thinks he's smart. He's ignorant. <laughs> fucking exactly. But he treats you well, though, right? I mean, he keeps you well off. More like imprisoned. I'm just trying to get the hell away from him. I just don't know how he'll react to it, you know? I know too much about him, and to top it all off, I know where he keeps a lot of his stuff, so... What do you mean? Well, I know where he keeps his money. 
He doesn't even invest any of it. How much? Why, you want to take some? No, no. I'm just curious, you know? I mean, I don't really know that side of him. Maybe I'm just not cut out for a relationship. Yeah. Staying committed can get a little tedious. Still early, though. You want to do a shot? I don't want to wrap my car around a tree. I'll drive. Are you trying to take advantage of me? Maybe. What if I told you I'm the rat? You're not the rat. It's so hard to believe about that. I know enough. I can't stand to kiss his ass anymore. Nah, no, don't worry about him. I've got it handled. What do you mean you have it handled? <laughs> Loyalty and honor's a myth with our kind. Nobody likes jail, sweetie. Believe me, he's gonna be going away for a long time. Listen, kid, I'm gonna be gone for a few days on business. I need you to watch over everything I'm gone. You know I'm up for it? Oh, that kid the other day with the attitude? Don't worry about it. He's gone. Mm-hmm. He's going out of town for a couple days. Oh, yeah? Do you want me to come over? Frank, what the fuck took you so long? I thought I'd let the rat nibble a little longer. Oh, you're so fucking funny. So, uh, how far did you two actually go? You know, some things are best left unsaid. For your own peace of mind, be grateful. to say goodnight. 